Of all the steps in the U.S. FDA medical device approval process, classification is arguably one of the most important. Understanding how the U.S. FDA classifies devices and the tools available to you is critical for identifying the proper regulatory pathway in the United States. Interested in learning more about the U.S. FDA classification process? We'll show you. You might ask yourself, why is classification so important? Knowing if your device is class 1, 2, or 3 determines the correct regulatory pathway to market the device. Ultimately, choosing the wrong device class could cost you considerable time and money and potentially result in regulatory or legal actions. When it comes to medical device classification, different markets employ different systems. Some markets use a predicate-based system, wherein devices inherit the risk class of similar devices already for sale. Markets, such as Europe and Canada, follow a distinct set of logical rules to determine device classification. Still, other markets have extensive categorical lists of predefined device types. The US FDA classification system uses elements of all these methods, but is quite distinct. The US FDA has three medical device classes, class 1, 2, and 3. The higher the class, the more stringent the regulations. Device classification determines the regulatory routes the manufacturer must follow to obtain clearance or approval to distribute the device in the US. To determine device classification, most companies use FDA's online classification database, before we get into examining the database, let's define a few very important terms the FDA uses in classifying devices. Product codes and regulation numbers. Product codes are always three letters and are used to distinguish every device type from one another. There are over 6,000 product codes representing every device authorized to be sold in the U.S. The regulation number is always seven digits and refers to a specific section of Title 21 in the U.S. Code of Federal Regulations, which describes groups of devices. There are 1,900 regulation numbers. Here's an example. Gloves fall under two prevailing regulation numbers, 878.4460 or 880.6250. Easy, right? Not so fast. There are close to 20 unique product codes for gloves. You'd better choose the right one to avoid problems down the line. The FDA classification database houses descriptions of every medical device ever introduced into the U.S. market. You can use the quick search method, which only uses a single search field, or the much more robust advanced search. Let's try it out. For this example, we're going to see how the FDA classifies surgical gloves. To demonstrate just how important keyword phrasing is, let's try glove, the singular version. At first glance, it appears there are only a few entries. The default setting of the tool limit the results to five per page. If you look up here, you'll notice there are 17 entries. It would be pretty easy for new users to miss that. Now let's perform a new search, this time using the keyword gloves, the plural. Now we only get a total of four results. If we just stopped here and chose one of the available devices listed, we run the risk of starting down the incorrect regulatory pathway. That could lead to serious delays in the process, and delays equal dollars. We'll select surgeon's gloves with the product code KGO. The definition is where you will look to see if your device matches the FDA's device listing. It shows here that surgeon's gloves fall under the regulation number 878.4460 and review panel of general and plastic surgery. The first three digits represent the medical specialty panel or review panel to which the device belongs. There are 19 device panels, also referred to as device branches. The remaining four digits of the regulation number represent a narrower segment of the device type often defined by a specific indication, material type, or technological feature. You'll notice that multiple product codes fall under a single regulation number, but the definition of each product code is different. The submission type for all product codes under 878.4460 is 510K, but the device is Class 1. Typically, Class 1 devices don't involve a 510K submission, but when you consider surgeon's gloves intended use, the heightened risk justifies this requirement. Also, this device is not GMP exempt, whereas most Class 1 devices are. As you can see, it's really important to select the correct product code in order to determine the requirements. For example, if you were trying to market scrubs in the U.S. and you chose the product code FYA for Gown Surgical, a Class 2 510K device, when your product is actually FYE Dress Surgical, a Class 1 510K exempt device, you would unnecessarily go through the involved and costly process of a 510K submission. 
But what happens if you have an innovative product and can't find the product code that matches it? You have two options. You can first submit a 513G or go through the de novo process. The 513G is a request for information wherein you ask the FDA to evaluate your product information to determine the device classification, the regulation number, and correct pathway to market. De novo submissions, on the other hand, are used for truly innovative and new devices. Your device must have no identifiable predicate device with which to establish substantial equivalence, or have a new intended use, or technology raises new questions of safety and efficacy. Devices considered not substantially equivalent, NSE, are automatically designated Class 3. If you believe your device belongs in a lower risk class, you may submit a de novo with data to support your requested classification, Class 1 or Class 2. The FDA will review your de novo submission and determine if your device is Class 1 or Class 2. If rejected, your device will remain Class 3, likely requiring a PMA. The FDA may issue an entirely new product code and regulation number. As you can see, device classification in the U.S. can be a tricky road to navigate without knowledge of the tools and processes. Stick around at the end of this video and click the download link to get your copy of Emergo's white paper, Navigating the FDA's Medical Device Classification System. We thank you for watching this video demonstration and hope you found it helpful and informative. Be sure to visit our website for additional resources including regulatory charts, device regulations, videos, and more www.emergogroup.com forward slash USA.